Warrior Unbound. Free. Unshackled. We push the limits in the most powerful cars. Cars we don't pay for. We go where we want. When we want. As fast as we want. You may call us thugs, but deep down, you know you need us. We are the law. You can't catch devils with angels. I am not you. I am the life you're too scared to live. You are asleep. I am awake. I am the reality show. The catalyst. The 15 minutes you'll never have. You want to know why I do this? I want to know why you don't. We are the enemy of freedom. I will run. We are the shadow you can't I will shake. never stop. We will hunt you. You will never catch me. You will not stop. You will make me fail. We, we will fail. You will break You are my You are our enemy. You are our target. You are my rival. Need for Speed had gone through some rough paces these past years. EA has been trying hard to revive the franchise by changing the developers many times and even the game engines but with no luck. Good news for racing fan this year is that the, this time the game does shift into top gear with all new multiplayer immersion system called All Drive. But first, you should know that Rivals uses the legacy of its predecessors to good use. Cops and Races theme is nothing new to the series, but this time it shines out really well. The name Rivals is well suited as not only Cops and Racers will be just playing cat and mouse game this time, but you really start to hate each other to the core as you will be facing real players as cops and somehow the shame of losing to real world player is not as easily digestible concept as losing to artificial intelligence. How All Drive works is a unique concept which is neither purely a multiplayer MMO racer nor an isolated single player game but a lovely sex child of the two. Every player in a way plays on their own single player game but up to 6 players are put on the same map at a time. Now you are free to race on your own but it will be hard to resist intersecting with other players races. If no real player is around you then you will still be competing against AI drivers but if other players are in the vicinity they will be added to your race as well and it becomes co and combines. Uh, the, all the races that will be going on independently on your own machines. More fun starts where there are a mix of cop and racers on the track as the game efficiently mixes multiple game modes in such a way. For example, you would be doing a time trial but a real cop player would have no concern of what you are doing and if he finds out you are speeding on the road he can start your pursuit and pretty soon your time trial becomes a lose the do damn cop mode. I wasn't really expecting much when all drive feature were announced because we have seen similar things in Opal World games like uh, in the days of Burnout Paradise but in reality this feels totally different. No longer players are detached from one another, you have no authority in stopping someone from ruining your game. You are always online and there is no pass button when you are on the road. But don't let this worry you with the similarity to SimCity Always Online fiasco as this game will let you play with other AI drivers even if online players are not there which right now is rarely the case. The game enhances the rivalries by the new speed point system. The concept is same as XP or cash earning in any other past game but the fun part is that if you win a race or earn speed points via some stunts or by crashing a cop car etc the points don't transfer to your bank immediately you actually have to drive to a hideout and preserve them for good if before doing this someone totals your car or police is able to bust you and capture you then all the points that you had gained are lost and transferred to other players account and that is the core where rivalries start because it was your hard earned cash and someone just wasted your car and took it all away. The game does reward you for playing risky, sure you can get to the nearest hideout and put it in a bank for safekeeping before the next race or police encounter but if you don't cash it in then 
you, uh, your heat level keeps rising up earning you more points exponentially so it's up to you if you play it safe and go to hideouts again and again or you keep playing and earn some big bucks speed points is games way of cash you uh, use it for buying new cars performance upgrades visual decals or libraries too sure there are plenty of customization options but sadly i missed the neon lights i was able to install in the nfs underground there are a lot of variety of cars to unlock with each car varying in their attribute from finesse of control to durability the controls are top notch and allowing you super arcadish control over your drifts even with low rank cars racers have more upgrade options but less number of cars to unlock cops on the other hand have more variety of cars but no customization or upgrade option you can switch between cop and racer carrier at any time by going to a hideout both have their own progression system and it's nice to switch over because if a racer is beating you again and again at races and taking away all your speed cash then you can just switch over to cop mode and go after any racer and take your full revenge another new addition to the game a pursuit tax do you remember the power ups like banana from mario kart well this is the same thing but in much more sophisticated package cops may have enjoyed special power ups like spike stripes blockades helicopter sport in the past but racers get some new cool twice this time too you can emp shock other racers or cop use turbo boost throw shock wave to slam cars away use jammer to block other persons pursue tech etc with high level you unlock more techs and even upgrades to existing techs to make them more powerful next thing that is new is the speed wall these are like mini objectives that you can do to rank up fast if you have played facebook games like farmville and seen how someone gives you different objectives to guide you in what to do next then this is the same concept as it is an open world game and players can get bored of the usual racing so these mini objectives are fun things to do these can be simple things like win a race in a second place or hit 170 miles per hour speed for 6 seconds or slam into three races these are all small quests uh, you get to do but it does keep things interesting once you have completed objectives on your speed wall new objectives unlock all the time although i told you nothing but praises about the game till now but not all is well in the nfs world as the most disappointing thing about the game has to be its game modes there are five game modes in the game number 1 time trials which both cop and racers can do the variation in cop mode is that your points cut if you bump into traffic or wall second game mode is hot pursuit racers have to win the race in this while cops have to stop racers from finishing the race third game mode is the simple race which only racers can do but if a roaming cop gets behind you in this game mode then it automatically turns into hot pursuit fourth game mode is interceptor in which the racer has to get away from the police while the cop has to catch them fifth and last game mode is head to head mode which can be played with any other single racer as you challenge them on the road for a one versus one race at any time but of course cops can come and ruin your race in that one too so in effect actually you are always racing and cops are always chasing you making uh, all the different names of the game modes just vague deceit of variety pretty soon you will feel the monotony of these game modes no doubt Visually the game is stunning even though PC version has been blamed for being capped at 30 frames per second but uh, considering how the all drive system works it is a requirement of uh, the online system that every player is calculated or running at 30 fps so that different kind of machines do not interfere with how the multiplayer uh, lag works because the game has to give you very smooth Uh, operation or racing during the gaming and even at 30 fps the game does look beautiful powered by the battlefield 4 frostbite engine the game has lovely details with leaves flowing around a dynamic lighting system and weather system although none of the races leave much of the detail unseen but if a storm starts then the visual fidelity of the night time with hill storm looks gorgeous 
the game is open world. But when you step inside a race, then translucent arrows on the road will always keep you on the track rather letting you get lost as Burnout Paradise used to do. The open world has smooth transition from grasslands to intervening mountain routes to dense forests to desert regions. But pretty soon you will start to feel that the game world is not so big and there is a serious lack of cityscapes in the game world, leaving the game world pretty empty. The game does come with a nice collection of soundtracks varying from rock to rap songs and it changes dynamically during uh, police chases. Although on the cop side the sirens are too loud with no option to individually lower the siren volume. Each car has its own unique perfected sound just like it controls and the police chatter always keeps you updated of your chase status without letting you look up notifications on the GUI which is pretty nice. The game does have an absence of dramatic single player story mode as NFS The Run did but you will just be representing a racer expressing his freedom or a cop proving his control and authority as the game progresses. Being a sucker for good storylines, this method is not as effective as NFS The Run but it surely works. The companion app called Overwatch needs special praise too as anyone can use a mobile to log into friends game and help the cops track out the racers using the in-game helicopter. Human controlled helicopters are really pain in the ass to dodge as compared to old choppers in the previous NFS games in which uh, they were controlled by computer who used to give up pretty easily. Sadly the Overwatch app is currently on iOS only with no Android version. Now to summarize it all up, the all new All Drive is a great addition which really gives a great revival to the franchise. Never seen before is this multiplayer and single player immersion where you don't have to switch in between the two separate game modes. But in the long run the empty world without variety of game modes will leave you doing nothing much more than ruining other people's races. I sure hope EA can release some patch of free DLC not just for new cars or skins but for new game modes and add a new city themed area to the map as well. It will surely make it a sweet deal but even in its current setup the game is pretty great and a totally unique experience than anything you have played before. Surely this makes this Need for Speed a game not to be missed this year.